Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. About four years ago, um, I bought one of my first, um, here it is, camcorders that did ABCHD. And at the time I was looking for a, a nonlinear editor that could handle the form, file format. And it pretty much boiled down to Sony Vegas, uh, a, uh, Adobe Premiere, and another one called Pinnacle, which I had been using prior uh, with one of my mini DV tape type recorders. Um, so it came down to those three and those all were the only three at the time that did AVCHD editing. I'm not a Mac person so I don't know it was on the Mac side four years ago. So I really took a look at that and I chose Sony Vegas because I, I felt all the different trials um, that I used, I tried them all and it seemed to be the easiest and best one to use. Now we've got DSLR format files um, and so my Sony Vegas 10 Pro um, trial is coming to an end and uh, I've got to figure out if I want to plunk down more money for an upgrade going from 9 to 10. Um, so I'm, now I'm going back and taking a look at Premiere Pro CS5. So it's, it's a lot of money so it's one of those things I've been testing and I got to say that Premiere Pro's, um, I'm not even using their Mercury engine, but um, in terms of what's going on in the preview window and how it's um, being rendered, um, it actually looks really good. It looks better than Sony Vegas, and I'm not even using the Mercury engine yet because I don't have a uh, qualified card, video card, that works with it. So to be honest, Sony Vegas 10 is better than 9, but... I feel like they messed the mark. They, Sony used to, I think, maybe four years ago, left their engineers alone. Where they bought the company, I forget what it was called before, SoundForge or something like that. They bought the company and they let the engineers do their own thing, which was great. I even got to talk to some of them four years ago. Um, but what happened, I think, is Sony sells lots of TVs. So, you know, a whole bunch of people just upgraded to their... HD TV in the last few years. Well, Sony wants you to do it again, but with 3D. And so their big push on Sony Vegas is to do everything in 3D, you know? And I think they missed the mark because Adobe was over working their butt off making uh, videos from DSLRs work really well. So, and I think that's the crowd that's kind of buying, you know, these kind of type of nonlinear editors. So unfortunately, um, it looks like I'm going to make the switch from Vegas to Premiere and in the process of making the switch the first thing I found is there are things that I know how to do really fast and really well in Vegas but I don't have any idea how to Premiere and let me show you the first one all right in Sony Vegas if I drop a thing on the timeline and you'll see I've got audio here I've got two tracks a left track and a right track and the right tracks all huge and what that is is um, it's a 19 kilohertz tone um, and it suppresses the AGC and if you haven't watched that video go back to my site and search for AGC hack you'll find it um, so what I what it's really easy to do is you right click you go to channels and you go to left only and you're done it's that easy all right now let me take you into premiere world I'm gonna take that same clip now, if I drag it down on the timeline, I could look, you could see it's got left and right. It's got, shows the left and right symbol. You know, I could right click on it all day long. I've tried to go everywhere and it took me forever to figure this one out. You know why? Because once you land this sucker on the timeline, you can't change it. So instead of starting a new file, I'm gonna quickly import another file that was similar to that one and it's right here. So now this one, before I even import it, before you even bring it on the timeline, because once you bring it on the timeline, you're screwed. You right click on it, go to modify audio channels. And this is where you want to go. You want to go to mono as stereo. So you click that. And since all my information is on the left channel, I just click the right, deselect it, and then say OK. And I can actually hit play and preview it. Okay, first up is the... And I can hear it just fine. It doesn't sound like a 19 kilohertz tone, even though I can't hear that high. Let's click OK. Now when I bring it on the timeline, here, let me uh, open this up a bit. 
and voila, here's the old one, which I cannot change, and here's the new one where it can change. So that hope that helps. If any of you are making the switch like I am, going from Vegas to Premiere Pro CS5, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do more videos like this. Um, all right, talk to you later. Bye.